To start, you need to select the cover you want to create. On this page, you can see all the templates that are available. If you want to design the cover on your computer and upload it to render into 3D, you can get the exact dimension the software use by hovering your mouse over the offline guide text. And if you click on it, you can download the file with a guide for the spine and dimensions. For this demo, we will create the paperback book standing. So click on it to go to the next step. The next step is to pick an overall background to use for your cover. We have a good range of colorful designs and textures for you to choose from. You can also upload your own background if you already have a cover design you want to convert to 3D. You can also upload it here. You can also create your own custom color for your background. For this demo, we will pick one of the backgrounds offered. Next, we refine the area we want to use as the background. You can see at the top corner here what the background will look like on your cover based on your selection. You can be creative here and make your selection very interesting. Here I'm choosing to use the whole original background because it has nice textures. Now we are ready to design. First, let's add some text. The title of my book will be How to Create Amazing Ebook Covers. And I decided the word amazing should stand out. So I'll be creating the title in three parts. First, I'll create the how to create text as white text on a standard looking font. After the text is added to the design, you can move it around to position it. Notice the text editor didn't have a font size option. That's because once added to the design, you can click on this bottom corner indicated by an animation arrow to resize the text. When resizing the text, you will notice that it constrained to its original proportion. In cases where you don't want this to happen and want to resize it to odd sizes, just Hold shift while resizing. Next, I want to make the word amazing stand out. So I'll choose a bold font and use special text effects for it. I'll pick an effect that I like or would look good with the background I have. This one looks good, so I'll click on it to select. Some of the effects allow you to change colors. If it does, you will see the color option on the left here. Select your color, then click Submit. It can take anywhere from 10 to 30 seconds to generate your text. Once it's done, you can resize and position it just like your regular text. You can apply all these tools to do this and anything added to the design. I want to rotate this text on an angle, so I enter in the degrees I want and click Rotate. If you make a mistake or change your mind, just click Undo. 15 degrees was too much, so I'm trying 8 degrees. Now I want to insert the rest of the title which is ebook covers. I can insert the text again, but I want it to look the same as the first line, and the settings here have been changed. What I can do here is go back to the design and copy the original text, then edit it. By doing this, you can keep it the same font and styles as the original. Now this text is overlapping the word amazing, which doesn't look right. I can bring the layer behind it forward by selecting that layer and click bring to front. This text is still on too much of an angle. I'm going to rotate it three degrees the opposite direction to adjust it. Now I 
will add some more text to tell people what the book is about. The cover has a spine and I want to add the title on it. To do that, just create a new text as usual. Spine text don't need any special effects, so I'll just make it as normal white text for this. Once the text is generated, I rotate the text in 90 degrees, then position it and resize to fit on the spine. Next, I want to insert an image. Click Insert Images. You can insert images from our library or upload your own. I'll insert one from our library for this demonstration. Same as the text, when you insert an image, you can click the corner to resize and position it by clicking and dragging. You can insert multiple images if you want. I'll add another from our library. Now that I'm happy with my design, I'll go ahead and click Finalize. It usually takes around 15 to 30 seconds to render your e-cover to a 3D image. Now that the 3D cover is generated, you can change the background color or have it on a transparent background. You can also resize it to fit your needs before clicking Download. Clicking Download 3D will download this 3D rendered image as seen here. Or you can click Download 2D to download the flat design to use as your front page. With the 2D download option, you can download it up to a maximum of 3000 pixels wide. That's large enough for decent printing. When entering the size, the size will update according to keep the design in proportion. If you want to enter a specific width and height, untick the Keep Ratio box. Click Download to download the image at the specified size. Generated eCovers are saved in your My eCovers tab. In there, you can choose to download, edit, or delete the cover. I have a few covers created beforehand, as you can see. Now I'll show you how to use the Packager. The Packager allows you to combine a few different covers and download as one image to give your product a package value. It has the same design interface as the cover interface, so you can do all sorts of designs with the Packager. Here I insert the covers I made and arrange it to give the effect that all these books and DVDs comes as a package. I can add a nice background to the design and add text and images as needed. Clicking the download button will download the image as you see it, or you can click this crop icon to download only the selected part of the image. 